Welcome to our five on five. We're talking about Illegal the Project with Laz Ayal, local businessman, as well as Nicholas Alexander, local filmmaker. Gentlemen, thanks for being here today. Of course. Thank you. All right, so Laz, I want to start with you. You're, you're a former undocumented immigrant uh, and a naturalized citizen. You're the inspiration, the driving force behind Illegal the Project. Uh, you're planning to go to El Salvador and Tijuana. Uh, what exactly are you going to be doing? Well, we are uh, documenting uh, essentially my story as an undocumented immigrant uh, who came here to the U.S. Uh, almost 40 years ago. Um, we want to document the story because it has strong parallels with the conversation of undocumented immigration today. Uh, and so we're hoping to, to capture that and uh, create those parallels and uh, humanize uh, perhaps the, uh, this conversation. Okay, and, and yeah, you've, you've been there in, in some of these places where so much is happening right now in, 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 our, in our country, in our, in our world. Um, what, you know, you're going to be meeting people, you're going to be telling their stories, is, is that kind of essentially what you're going to be doing? The, the goal is to uh, definitely uh, take my story to my native uh, town uh, in El Salvador, uh, while at the same time uh, capture stories from other individuals, families uh, in, in uh, my native uh, village uh, mm -hmm. that have a connection with this conversation, either by having a son or a daughter that lives here undocumented or a mom or a dad. Um, so Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people to meet along the way, I would imagine. And, mm -hmm. and for you, how did, this, how did this come about? Well, for me, it, uh, it started as a... Uh, have uh, someone that has a, a strong connection with this conversation. Again, someone that came here undocumented and, and hearing the, the, the narrative uh, about immigrants and uh, undocumented immigrants, uh, uh, which I, I was once uh, one. Mm -hmm. uh, and that being a very personal uh, topic for me and noticing and uh, recognizing there's a gap a gap in participation from, uh, from uh, immigrants, especially those that have come here undocumented, like I said, uh, and, and, the, and recognizing the need for, for engagement uh, from, uh, from people like myself um, to give a voice to this conversation from our perspective and, again, humanize it. Okay, and, and Nicholas, so what kind of film is this going to be? Are we following Laz around down there? Is this documentary? Is this feature? What is it going to look like in, in your vision? Absolutely. It's, it's a documentary. It's about Laz and his story coming from El Salvador, making the journey th through Latin America all the way, crossing the border, and eventually ending up here in Southern Oregon. So it's a documentary. We're going to be following Laz around in his hometown, around El Salvador, interviewing people that knew him, uh, people that have ties to him. And so our goal is to really provide an authentic, true story, uh, really just raw, just uh, show Laz in, in his culture and in his country, just walking through the streets, authenticity. That's what we're going for, a documentary film. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break, gentlemen. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Laz Ayala, local businessman, and Nicholas Alexander, local filmmaker, talking about Illegal, the project. So you guys are going down to Central America. You're going down to Tijuana even, Laz. Uh, what, are you, what are you hoping to accomplish there at the border? And what do you say to people when, uh, I imagine you're, you're a local businessman, you talk to a lot of people about this project, considering the political climate and everything, what are, what are people saying to you? What do you say to them? You know, typically the response is, you know, the, the question is, is this a political movie? Uh, and the answer it is, is no. This is not a political movie. This is uh, a film, really, uh, that we are doing to, uh, in, in an effort to educate uh, people about the topic from, from uh, the perspective as, a, as an immigrant. Uh, and, uh, but again, uh, not uh, with any political agenda in mind. Uh, okay. Okay, and, and I imagine there's going to be a lot of action at the border, at least there, there is right now. We'll see what it's like in a few days. You guys are going down later this week, is that right? We leave this Friday, uh, Fort El Salvador. We'll be there until the 14th. Uh, we hope to be in Tijuana on the 15th. And the reason right. we're going to Tijuana is because that's where I crossed the border right. 37 years ago uh, in the trunk of a car. Wow. Uh, and uh, we wanted to capture that, uh, that experience uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the film. Uh, it just so happens that uh, the caravan will be uh, arriving around the same time that we are in Tijuana, so it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to be able to 
capture also the experience of other uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, immigrants, you know, uh, getting to the to the border. Yeah, certainly, mm -hmm. certainly, the timing is, is is good for the project, right. of, of course. It was um, you talked before documentary. What is the timeline for the project? How how can people uh, see it when it when it comes out and mm -hmm. when that time comes and and stay up on it? Absolutely. Well, we are beginning a long uh, road of storytelling and filming. This is going to be a long project. So right now we are going to be leaving this week for El Salvador, going to Tijuana. Right now we are going to be coming back in December to film here in Southern Oregon because Laza's story it begins in El Salvador, but it, right. it continues here in Southern Oregon. So we'll be doing some filming in 2019. Obviously, we would love to produce this film by next year, but we know that a film of this nature will take a while, probably more time than we anticipate. So I'm hoping in 2019, 2020, of course, uh, if people want to follow us, receive updates, uh, learn about our progress, they can check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. They just need to search Illegal the Project. We also have a website, illegaltheproject.org, and we'll be posting, doing Facebook Lives, during our trip in uh, El Salvador and in Tijuana, so they can look forward to those. Wow, okay, little teases, if you will, about the action that's going on yeah. down there. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Yeah, All right, you. stay with us. We'll be right back.